Today I'm posing the question to you guys, how does your toaster know when your toast is done? How does your toaster know when your toast is done? I mean, clearly there's no magical little creature living inside your toaster that says, hey, toast is done, let's pop it up for you to enjoy. I mean, that's not a thing, right? So. How does your toaster know when your toast is done? Now, honestly, this is a question I pose to my physics students every year, and it's, it's interesting because I always get pretty varied results. Different answers coming from different students, and probably the most common two, which I'm sure you've probably already thought of, are, well, maybe there's a timer inside the toaster, or, maybe there's some type of temperature sensor. Now, just about every toaster in the world has some type of a knob on the front of it, and that is to vary the darkness of your toast, or the doneness, I guess, of your toast. But what does that knob actually do? Turning it up, obviously, you get darker toast, but is it changing the time, or is it changing the temperature, or how exactly does your toaster know when your toast is done? Honestly, the answer is a little bit complicated because, well, really it depends on what kind of toaster that you have. And yes, you're correct, changing the knob on the front does either change the time or the temperature, but one of those two things must be how your toaster knows when your toast is done. So let's think about it. If it's based on time, then somebody somewhere had to build a product, they had to make a toaster, and then make toast literally hundreds or maybe even thousands of times measuring the amount of time it takes with that particular toaster to achieve perfectly golden toast. So imagine yourself as that guy that's, you know, that, that guy that has to make toast literally a, a hundred times a day measuring the amount of time that it takes each time. Sounds like a fun job, right? What if, on the other hand, varying that knob on the front actually affects the temperature at which your toast is made? So if that's the case, then somebody somewhere had to build a toaster and actually make toast, maybe hundreds or thousands, you see where this is going. The difference here is that it would always be cooked for a specific amount of time and that the temperature would vary in order to create a lighter or darker toast. So again, they'd have to go through that process of making toast hundreds or thousands of times, measuring the time at a specific temperature, and then finding a range of temperatures that will produce toast that's edible. Either way, somebody had to spend a lot of time measuring time. So how can you tell if your toaster is uh, affected by temperature or if it's creating toast by time? There's one easy way to find out. So you'll have to pretend you're a scientist trying to understand the science of making toast and actually make toast several times with your toaster. But when you do, you're going to have to measure the amount of time that it takes to cook your toast. Not only that, you're going to have to measure that amount of time at various settings on that little dial on the front. If all of your times come out very close to each other, then chances are it's probably a temperature-based thing where the toast is actually cooked at a given temperature based on where you set the dial. So turning the dial up means you're going to cook your toast at a higher temperature, which means it's going to get done much more in the same amount of time 
as opposed to turning the knob down, you're going to cook it at a lower temperature, so it's not going to get as dark in the same amount of time. Does, does that make sense? On the other hand, if you measure different times for different settings on the knob, then chances are your toaster is cooking your toast based on a given amount of time. Changing the knob, of course, changes the amount of time that it cooks your toast, which means that it's probably cooking it at a constant temperature. And there's another little trick to that. If you look inside at the coils that are glowing, these are nichrome wires. Nichrome is an alloy of nickel and chromium, which if you pass an electric current through this type of wire, it will glow hot, just the same way as if you have an electric stove and you turn on the stove, the coil on the stove will glow hot. All right, so how does your toaster know when your toast is done? I wanna hear what you guys think, so leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about how your toaster knows when to pop up your toast. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys know how much I appreciate you watching my videos and sharing them like on Facebook and that sort of thing. Uh, it's very helpful to me and, you know, I just dig it. I dig you for doing that. Thanks for watching. Remember, if it's your first time here and you haven't already, click that subscribe button. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.